Ed Excel, A Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2019, Question 4. Find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 over the square root of 4 minus x, giving each coefficient in its simplest form. So the first thing we need to do here is change our fraction into brackets to a power. Okay, so we've got 4 minus x, and this is to the power of minus a half. Minus because we're dealing with 1 over, and a half because it's a square root. Now to find the binomial expansion, we need our brackets in the form of 1 plus or minus. We've got a 4 here, so we're going to divide this 4 out. But because the bracket is to the power of minus a half, when we bring out the 4, the 4 also has to be to the power of minus a half. But 4 to the power of minus a half is 1 over square root of 4, which is a half. So we're now to change this into a half times 1 minus x over 4 to the minus a half. If we're going to find the binomial expansion of our bracketed part, the first term is going to be 1, because we've got the 1 at the beginning of our brackets. Our second term is going to be the power, minus a half, times by the second part of our bracket, minus x over 4. And our third term is our power of minus a half times by the power minus one, so minus three over two, all divided by two. And this is times by the minus x over four, but this time it is squared. Simplifying this, we get one plus an eighth x plus three over 128 times x squared. But remember that our original expression had a half in it, so we need to multiply this through by a half. So we get a half plus a sixteenth x plus 3 over 256 times x squared. The expansion can be used to find an approximation to root 2. Possible values of x that could be substituted into this expansion are x equals negative 14, x equals 2, and x equals negative a half. Now, without evaluating our expansion, so without actually working out the answers, we're going to state giving a reason which of the three values of x should not be used. So we've done an expansion of 1 over root 4 minus x. Whenever we do a binomial expansion, we know that that x, the modulus of this x, has to be smaller than the 4 because we've got 4 minus x. This is just the rule of binomial expansion to memorize. Now, as modulus of x has to be smaller than 4, we know that it can't be minus 14, hence this is the one that we're not going to use. Now, for part 2, state, again giving a reason, which of the three values of x would lead to the most accurate approximation to root 2. So we have a binomial expansion. The closer to 0 our value of x that we put into it is, the more accurate the approximation is going to be. Out of the values we've got there, the one that's closest to zero is minus a half. So that's the one that's going to give us the most accurate approximation. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.